Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and see what they want you to know. Okay. First off, starting with some good news. So you have a number of you have been going through a turbulent situation. For some of you, you have really been, you know, putting in the work as far as clearing things, working on things. Um, some of you just had challenges, you know, at work. Some of you have had challenges with, you know, your, your partner, with your spouse. For some of you, it's been going on for a while. And, and, and it's just, for some of you, you started to lose hope. Like, is this, is it going to ever get better? And it is. So they want you to know things are going to get better. You are well on your way to happier times. Just hang in there. You are at the light at the end of the tunnel. And they're really encouraging you to just hang in there. And if you need help getting to the end, which, which they are saying that you're going to come out the other end, you're nearing the light at the end of the tunnel. In the meantime, ask Archangel Michael to help you, give you the strength, the perseverance to get through it because you are going to get there and things will be happier. They will be lighter. You will have made it through what you're going through. And for a lot of you, I mean, it's not just small little conflicts. For some of you, it's, it's some really big stuff that you've had to let go of and release and deal with. Um, now, the next card we have is Ten of Gabriel. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So, they, they want to remind you to, to get back to a place of a balanced life. Because a, a lot of you, you've worked really hard. You're hard workers. You, you multitask in so many things. I mean, you have a lot of determination and focus. But it's really wearing you down. To the point where in this card, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, it. The expression on her, she just looks very sad, not happy, not fulfilled. But you've been working so hard, it, it's left you joyless. You've lost the joy in life. It's You've got a lot of stress for some of you. It's starting to affect your health. And a number of you don't know how to get out of it. You don't know how to ease your responsibilities. You don't know how to remove some of the workload. And it's because a number of you, because you like to shoulder that responsibility and you don't want to inconvenience others, you don't ask for help. So they're encouraging you to start asking for help. There, there are people that want to help you. For some of you, it's friends. For some of you, it's family. For some of you, it's a cleaning lady who'd like to be hired to come to your house once a week to clean your house so that you could focus on getting some balance and getting some fun back into your life. For some of you, it's you're, you're so stressed and overworked, you're, you're missing out on time with friends, time with family, you are just overwhelmed. And, and, and it's put a number of you into a state of depression, but it's easy to get yourself out of there and you'll be successful in getting yourself out of there. But the key is to getting help. That's how you're gonna get yourself out of there. You're gonna need to get some help. And the help's there. You just need to ask for it. Ask the angels for help. If you need help figuring out who to go to or if you need the financial help to be able to hire a cleaning lady or hire a personal assistant or hire someone to take the workload off of you. Because you don't have to do it all alone. It doesn't remove any of your glory. You still get the satisfaction of succeeding. You just don't need to wear yourself out and affect your health negatively and not enjoy life by doing it all alone. So they're encouraging you to do that. Next card we have is dietary change. Improve your diet so your life will also improve. So so for some of you, so for a number of you that this resonates with, you, you've already had the sense and have been wanting to make a change to your diet. You've been wanting to cut processed foods, you know, eliminate chemicals and things from your environment. You've, you've had these thoughts for a while, but you've not acted on them. So they're encouraging you to take those steps and act on those things, those signs, those messages that you've been getting so that, you know, your health will improve. And for some of you, it's, it's going to drastically improve your intuition as well. Because for a number of you, you're going through like a spiritual awakening. And, and part of the reason you, you've got turbulence at work is, or turbulence in some, they're saying some areas of your life, is because those things don't resonate with who you are anymore. And for some of you, this stuff that you've been going through was because, you know, you've been clearing things out of your life that don't resonate with who you are anymore because you, you, you've grown, you've spiritually evolved. And for a number of you, you're, you're spiritually growing and evolving. So, you know, that's why those things aren't resonating with you any longer. But as part of that, you know, you've gotten all these signs. 
you'll be able to get more than just signs. You'll be able to get a lot of concrete, clear, intuitive information. But in order to get that, your, your diet is impacting it. So you may need to cut sugars. You may need to cut processed foods. You may need to cut out alcohol. But once you cut those things out and you get to a healthier, balanced diet with whole foods, you'll find that your intuition is going to burst open. So those things that you don't have the clarity on, suddenly you'll have that clarity. But, but it's, it's your diet, it's the things that you're eating that are causing you block at this time. Bottom row that we have down here, this is your love. First card we have is chemistry. And at the bottom it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So those of you that are single, you, there, for a number of you, you found someone new, a new, a new partner that you're considering and you're not really sure if you should pursue them, not really sure if you should move forward. And for some of you, you're not even sure if they feel the same way about you, but they do. You, you both are being drawn to each other. You're both attracted to each other. And, and there's a reason that you, you have that chemistry. There's a reason you have that spark. You know, they're, they're giving you a green light to move forward. And for some of you, you feel this chemistry and draw to someone and you don't know why. Because, you know, there's been some bumpy roads and things aren't necessarily going as smoothly as you would have hoped. So for some of you, you've been trying to, you know, break away from this person and date other people and, and completely move on, but, but you still feel connected. You still feel this pull to them. So they're encouraging you to go with it and, and, and try to delve in and find out why, because there's something deeper here. There's a reason for, so for some of you, this is a divine partner. This is, you know, a divine connection. That's, that's why you have that magnetic pull. That's why you can't seem to escape and get away from them. So let yourself feel those feelings and, and explore it and, and do some research and try to figure it out. Next card we have is engagement. In the bottom of it, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you are going to be getting engaged. Congratulations. What they're saying is, is for a number of you, you've been having challenges with your relationship that you're in, your marriage, your partnership things have not been going well. The communication channels have been closed. There's been a lot of conflict, a lot of arguments, just things haven't been going well. So is when things are going to, to turn for the better because there's going to be a, a new commitment. So they're encouraging you to, to have a, a renewed commitment to your partner, to your lover so that you guys can improve things and continue moving forward and, and get back to that higher place of love. For some of you, you're going to need to, you know, open up those communication channels to bring that, you know, understanding back with each other. Some of you, you're going to need to plan a trip to, you know, help open the communication channels, but also to bring that, that, that spark back to remember why you, you love each other, why you're with each other to begin with. So, but in order to do that, you're going to have to make a commitment to the partner because they're saying for some of you, you're just, you're, you're frustrated, you're not putting in the effort. So they're saying make a commitment to, to improving, improving your relationship and you will be successful. Now, a key element to that for a number of you is communication because the card Angel of Communication came up and at the bottom it says, communicate clearly, don't be afraid to tell it like it is. So, you know, with communicating clearly, it's getting a number of you aren't communicating what you need in the relationship. So, since you're not really sharing what you feel, you're not sharing what you want with your partner, you know, they can't fulfill those needs. And, and, and so say you're not communicating with them, you know, there's that book, you know, the languages of love. So say your language of love is you need quality time, but their language of love, maybe he needs gifts. So maybe he keeps showering you with gifts, but you're kind of hoping he'll read your mind. You're not coming out and telling him that that's what you'd like. You're not telling him, I, I need quality time with you. Thank you for this beautiful emerald bracelet. I love it, but I'd really like to have a few hours together. I'd, I'd like to go to the movies. I'd like to take a trip. I, I need quality time together. So by not communicating with them clearly what you need, what you want in a relationship, they can't fulfill that. So then they're confused, especially if you look at the book Languages of Love, you know, many times it's not that the person doesn't love us, it's just we have different languages of love. So they think they're showing you love. They're like, oh man, I'm, I'm showering her with gifts or I'm showering him with gifts. And then they're confused because they're like, I don't understand what's, what's, why it's not working, why, why, is, 
Why is she mad? Why is he mad? What is what is going on here? That's because neither partner is communicating what they need and want. So it causes confusion, it causes arguments, it causes conflict, ultimately it can lead to the relationship ending. So they're encouraging you to speak up, communicate. If you want quality time, if you want to take a holiday weekend, if you want to take a vacation, if, you, if you're getting too much quality time and you'd rather get gifts, whatever it is that you need to be fulfilled. If, if you need help around the house, it, whatever it is that you're needing, because for some of you, you know, you're having conflict with your spouse because you're taking all the, the duties and things on at home on your own. Communicate what you need. Say, hey, I need help with the laundry. Or, hey, could you hire us a cleaning lady? <laughs> or, could you help with dinner? But whatever it is that you need, they're not going to read your mind. And likewise, you know, maybe you're a really good communicator and you're communicating everything with them, but maybe they're not communicating. So try to get them to open up and get them to communicate in a loving way. Not with aggression or blaming them of you never talk to me, you never tell me what you want, but, but go and, and open those communication channels in a loving way. Let them know, you know, I love you. I want to be able to fulfill your needs. What, what can I do? What is it that you need from me? You know, how can I help improve our relationship? So open those, open those channels up and you'll notice a drastic improvement. So the last card that we have, the little fun surprise. This is gonna be our little firecracker card. So this is from Doreen Virtue's Angel Answers deck. It's very short answers. I don't use them in my readings because um, when you hear the angels talk to you, you, you know, they, they like to give a lot of information, which is why the readings are always not very short, but it's good because they're getting you guys the messages that you need. And I'm very thankful that they use me as a, a tool to get that to you. But what I was thinking would be fun, we have a lot of fireworks, a lot of firecrackers. I'd like each of you to think of a question that you would like an answer to. You got it? You thinking of it? Because I'm going to flip this over and this is going to give you an answer. And I'm actually going to read the book because for some of you, you're going to find some messages in the book that resonate with the question that you're asking. So drum roll. And it is within the next few weeks. So let me open up my happy little book here because I don't think that gives much information other than what you're, yeah, it doesn't. Okay. So what you asked about will happen soon thereafter. Your patience is rewarded. So going again back to the hanging in there. So hopefully that helped. Hopefully these messages will help all of you, will help you get some balance. We'll bring back a little spark to your relationship. So there are fireworks in the bedroom as well as outside and help bring a little bit of love back. And for some of you, improve your improve your health and, and help you start getting some more messages from your angels. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.